The guiding principles are bringing together aspects of international human rights law that already exist and bringing it together to highlight all of the areas of that law where that ap apply to governments in regulating the private provision or the private involvement in education. So it's not creating new law um, or new um, case law or anything like that, although it may lead to that, um, but it's bringing together all the principles that currently exist in a way that governments should be able to make use of in terms of their, their dealings with, with private schooling. But I certainly don't see it as, as outlawing private schooling or, or leading to the, to the, hopefully not, to the overly onerous regulation of private schools.